If you have worked with Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets or similar software, you might already know what pivot tables are. Pivot tables are an excellent tool to summarize a numeric variable based on two other categorical variables. You can create such pivot tables in Pandas also very conveniently. You have a very common function which is pivot underscore table. This is directly present in Pandas itself. You can use this function to create your pivot tables. So how a pivot table basically looks like is in your rows and column, you have one categorical variable. Let's say this is P class. The columns is survived. And in your values in the cells, you have some other variable aggregated and filled up over here. In cross tabulation, this value was the number of records present in your data set. Now, in place of the number of records, suppose if we have the average of the fare for this particular class, say this is 1, 2, 3 and survived is 1, this one is 0, survived is 0 here. Now, the average of fare for survived equal to 1, P class equal to 1, that will be computed and placed here. This is what a pivot table basically looks like. Now, to create this, we have seen this function. To this function, this requires what column goes in the rows, what column goes into the columns, right? The index and the column of your pivot table and the values in your pivot table, which column should be used to create the values. That can be one single column or you can pass in multiple columns. In addition to that, you also need to define the aggregation function. Here, we are using a lambda function. So this is the syntax. Let's run this and see the output. So we have the Titanic data set. Now run the pivot table function. So here, nicely, since we have mentioned index equal to survived, survived is going into the rows and P class is going into the columns. The values that is being used to fill is the fair. All right. So this is the output. In this method, that is using pd.pivot table, you also need to specify what the data is from which data frame all these are coming from. Alternately, you can directly use the pivot table method of the data frame itself. If you are using this method, you don't need to specify which data frame this pivot table should be created from. That's the only difference. Let's run this and see. So this is the result. Now you can unstack this pivot table also. If you do this, the column of the pivot table, this column of the pivot table will get unstacked and be formed as a series. So this actually is a series. If you check the type of this object, this is a panda series. This has two different indexes. Now, if you look at the output of this, this is very similar to what you would achieve using df.groupby. If you do a df.groupby and specify both of these columns as your group by columns and then do the aggregation, you can still get the same result that you're getting here. And that's what we are doing next. So that's how you create pivot tables. Let's solve a mini challenge based on this. So the challenge is compute a pivot table showing the average age of people based on these different rows and columns. Creating is quite straightforward. Once you create it, put in all the inferences that you can gather from the various views that you're creating here. The input code to create the data for this challenge is shown here. So give it a shot. So the solution for this challenge is shown here.